this in there because Toyota. All right, five, four, three, two, and one rolling. Welcome to Spray Lock Nation to another wonderful day here, the beginning of a new year. We're going to start out with uh, another video. It's been like last year since we did the last one. It's been a long time, very long time. Yeah, yeah. It's, it do you remember been. how to do this? I, basically, just make sure the camera's on and start talking. From what I remember, did the did, did we get the makeup done and the and the hair dids and all that stuff, or did we skip that this time? I think that we gave as much we, effort into that as we normally do. Okay, so we're we're dead on spot. Just messing up as we normally do? Yes. Got it. Yes. Let's get going. Yes. What are we going to talk about? You can't do that. What part of I introduced these things have you not figured out yet? Again, it's been a while. <sighs> we have technical difficulties over here, and I'm going to have a hard time speaking, apparently, again. Where are we? I, Studio 84C. Why what not? city? Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what city are we in? Boulder, Colorado. Oh, Boulder, Colorado. Well, we could be in Dinosaur, Colorado. I don't know where that is. All right, so today we're talking about efflorescence. I'm glad you said that right. Versus the un the other side of the coin. It is often confused with effervescence. So one of them is correct, and one of them is is referring to something else. Yes, the the gaseous escape of something that's an aqueous solution. Oh, yeah. Such as the medicinal tablets you could put into a glass of water and watch them fizz up. Oh, gotcha. Or Mentos and a Coke. Oh, why did, why can't we do that for the video? The ceilings are really not that high. Okay, well. And All I'm right. pretty sure that the producer director might not appreciate Coke going all over the lights and cameras and I don't think he cares about the two guys in the middle that we mm, can see. I got you. I think yeah. the rest of it he care about. So, uh, so what is efflorescence? I almost <laughs> did it. I almost got it wrong. What is efflorescence? I was supposed to be the one having technical difficulties with my mouth and wording, and all of a sudden you're the one doing it. Chattanooga. Okay. <laughs> do you want to talk about efflorescence, or do you want me to? I figured you've been salty all day. Why don't you start? <laughs> sure. All right. Yeah. Great. Great lead in. Uh, efflorescence is going to be a discoloration caused by a salt or hydroxide that is expressed from the concrete. It's part of the concrete reaction process that is brought along with water or the movement of water vapor out of the concrete. Um, calcium hydroxide, calcium carbonate, few salts of sodium, different salts can, can come out and show up as a discoloration and it looks bad, especially on colored concrete. Okay, you keep or, saying discoloration, really, is it, it's, it's a salt. It's, yeah. It's, 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 it's a blooming is what some people look at it yeah. and it is a crystalline formation sitting on pavers, brick, or, or concrete. Excellent. Yes. I, I understand it's disc, but it's, it's, it's white. Yeah, it's, it's typically white colored and uh, I have seen one particular job one time. I actually saw a job that had Versus an inch. not actually seeing the job? Yeah. Okay. An inch and a half of efflorescence on the top of the concrete. And it was like cotton candy all over the concrete. Washed off with water and the concrete was fine. I've never seen anything like it since it, or but, before. But that wouldn't be efflorescence. What would it be? Uh, salt expressions but efflorescence does not come off by just simply pressure washing or just watering it down no typically if you catch it early enough it can but I, okay it, i will go I'll, i will take your word for it. i've never seen it because everything that i've seen done takes basically vinegar or a acidic solution to help and 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 some of this elbow yeah, grease. elbow grease yeah. you're going to be scrubbing right. it real good and you know, the thing is, is everybody talks about it being unsightly. It is unsightly. It's not really doing a whole lot damaging to your concrete. But as soon as it's all expressed out over a couple of different years, if you're cleaning it, it should be done unless you keep continuous having water move through it. Because it's not coming, it, it's not anything expressed from behind the concrete. It's just stuff coming out it's of the concrete. It's coming out of the water. concrete, right. So so it's really, what I, my experience is, is more of a concern with the architectural pieces. Yeah. Uh, it just looks unsightly. Yeah. And, and you can't put a sealer over it until that is completely fixed. Yeah, that's a very fixed, good point. Because that'll you, push the sealer off. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, it, it could push the sealer off or it could actually lock that dust or the, the reaction product in place to where you've got to, now that you've got a sealer on it, it's permanent. Right. Um, what can we do, what can our products do to help? Can we do anything to help this situation? We can reduce it because we're going to stop that water moving through and we're not sitting at the surface so we're actually going to go into the concrete. Like we've talked about many times over and when you get that stop deeper into the concrete, it's not coming out so you're not going to see it expressed onto the... Now we will tell you if you have that going on and you clean it because you're going to have to clean it no matter what you do with it, mm -hmm. we can actually push it out so you might see a secondary bloom that'd be cleaned before we're doing what we're doing. We're going to reduce it. Joints and cracks and things like that, they're still going to come out. Okay. Um, we, we're not going to tell you that we're going to completely stop it, but we're going to greatly reduce it so you will not see as much of it, um, which means your maintenance on it will be a whole lot easier. But go back a step. When we're talking about cleaning, we're talking about basically vinegar. And sometimes you got to let it soak. Sometimes, you know, you're going to need full strength white vinegar, which is not really acidic. <laughs> or, you know, 50-50. I would recommend you go in a 50-50 water vinegar split, do a little elbow grease, see if that works for it. Soak it for a few minutes. Um, just see where you go with it. That way you're, you're not putting too much vinegar on there. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, good stuff, Josh. And uh, hopefully you guys maybe learned something or, or uh, learned a little bit more about how to, how to clean up the efflorescence when it happens. If you're having issues with efflorescence and think we might be able to help, give us a shout. We'd love to uh, talk to you about whatever you're seeing and see if it's uh, something that we might be some assistance with. You know, be really cool. What's that? Is on the, the to go away. Is Fred actually makes it look like it's effervescence coming up as we fade out. That would be cool. See if you can do it. Yeah. Stay tuned. We'll have another video. Like, subscribe, and if you got any questions, reach out to us. Thank you.